we're about to give InfraSurf to this 600 gram baby. As you notice, the bed is in the flat position. And the baby is going to be contained in a fetal tuck position with a hand taking the knees to the tummy and then the arms crossed or together so the baby can hold. Um, it's easier when you turn the baby, easier on the baby to log roll them. You want to make sure that someone continues containing the baby throughout the procedure. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we've separated these into two different aliquots and it makes it a lot easier for the person administering it to where they know exactly how much to give. In this case, the baby weighs 600 grams, so we've do, uh, separated it into two aliquots, so 0.9 and 0.9. So as you can see, it's being administered very slowly. We're monitoring the pressures. Uh, we're monitoring the SATs and the heart rate, so we're kind of watching that, making sure the baby's doing well. Um. Okay, so everything's looking really good. The baby's heart rate is good. Baby's saturation is good. Everything is going very well. So after it's in, we'll actually wait 30 seconds uh, with that same lung down. In this case, the uh, left lung is down. So we'll wait 30 seconds uh, to allow for good distribution. After 30 seconds, uh, we will wind up turning the baby to the opposite lung. So right now we're just kind of waiting. We're monitoring the heart rate, we're monitoring the SATs. So everything looks good there. Okay, so 30 seconds has transpired. And we turn the baby once again as one unit, like the log rolling keeping those knees flexed. The hand should always be on the baby, supporting the baby to stay calm. Okay. Uh, heart rate is still doing well. Saturations still look good. Uh, pressures are, are looking good. So a couple things that could happen is that if the heart rate started to draw fall, we would actually do a couple of things. Uh, we could first off, we could stop giving the the uh, the medication. Second, we could uh, increase our PIPs. Third, we could also increase our uh, eye time. Those are the three things that we could that would be the easiest thing to do. And if for whatever reason, uh, okay, just real quick, the infrasurf is in. We're waiting 30 seconds. For whatever reason, if none of those things work, the baby still um, has a low heart rate. We would actually, and this would be our last method, we'd actually pull the surfactant back out. Uh, but that would be our very last choice. So there we go. So it's in, and it's been almost 30 seconds. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. Baby's being log rolled back to supine. The hand is still on the baby, making sure that he stays contained and stable. Okay, so if, if for whatever reason we decided we want to go and extubate the baby and put the baby on CPAP or surfactant, what we would do is we would take a, um, a pad and to kind of help to get the tape off. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So we'll take the tape off using a, a, a remover. And notice how when one caregiver sh shifted jobs, the other caregiver maintained that infant in a fetal flex position, allowing the other um, caregiver to have both hands free. Okay, we're still monitoring the heart rate, we're monitoring the saturations. Now before we actually take the tube out, we're going to support the baby with the CPAP or whatever device we're planning to put the baby on. So the tube is out. Good. And if you notice, it's uh, it's in the nose, so we're supporting the baby uh, as the tube comes out. So, very good. Good job, everybody.